Hello everyone and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Gosh, I've been waiting a long time to say that. Jesus Christ, it felt good. It is Easter and of course this project is gonna be about an Easter egg, but not just any Easter egg, it's gonna be about the world's most expensive Easter egg. So without any further ado, here's the process of the character making as well as the egg making. In choosing character this time, I was inspired by the Bridgertons. <laughs> I was already actually planning on wearing this wig, but um, since I have like 30 wigs, I thought, why not try some options? I picked out this one, another red, and this one, another like brownish. And I also brought a little joke. <laughs> Let's just try it with a crown on. So I think I'm gonna go with my original plan. Look at this! Maybe a little bit uh, too much Einstein going on here. One second. Moments later. More moments later. The next morning. The makeup is done, the wig is on its place, and I'm extremely, extremely happy with how the, the wig turned out. I think it looks it looks great, actually. I really like this little detail. It was super easy. I just took the ribbon and I just turned it into a bell and used some hot glue. It's time to put out the crown. I'm just thinking about this one. Maybe I should just try how it looks with this hat because I do really like this hat. It is kind of cute, second hand. Gotta love second hand. <laughs> No, you know what? Mm -mm. Oh. I'm gonna go with my original idea and I'm, I'm gonna put on the crown. Wow. Perfect. I really do get to self clap my hands all the time. I don't know, it's a bad habit. This. Mm -mm. Uh, Cruise who? Oh, the girl with the crown. <laughs> time for the outfit. And as an artist, I think a lot about colors and green eyes, red hair, fair skin, green dress. So it's gonna be a little hard to show you guys the full dress. It's a small room. Uh, but anyways, beautiful small details. I really think it can be something. Let's try it out. Uh, it just turned out so much better than I expected. I feel like I'm wearing this dress from um, Harry Potter that Ron receives for the ball. I'm just, no, no, I don't like this one. I'm gonna change it uh, right now. Wait. I do like the details a lot. The small puffy arms here are super girly and really like the style that they have in Wimber... Wimbertown? <laughs> I do need to find the skirt to match the shirt to build a dress, but that's a problem for later. Time to put on the finishing details, like the silk gloves. Mm -mm. Very much Vogue. And I got a pair of earrings matching the crown. Uh, but I, I don't know, I feel that... They are a little bit too much. This ones, they are a little bit more classic. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this ones. And as you can see in the back here, I do like to. <laughs> I can focus now. No, <laughs> I do like to uh, gather a lot of props and bring my character to life with the help from props and outfits and makeup and everything. Have you seen Lupin? Lupin? He is stealing an egg. I mean, we're gonna take this egg and we're gonna make it into a real Fabergé egg. Fabergé. We're gonna pimp this egg up! I'm gonna go to Pinterest and I'm just gonna scroll until I find something that I that catched my attention and I'm just gonna go for that as an inspiration. And what I noticed was a lot of these eggs have a holder. And I found this one on second hand, I think it was like four euro. And I have no idea what it's been used for, but I like the shape. And I'm just gonna, yeah, basically just gonna cut this part away and use 
this part and start to put a lot of ornaments there. As for the egg, I'm gonna use this one in Sterilite. But the problem is this one is too big for its holder. But that's not a problem. I'm just gonna take this one and I'm gonna use something to make it smaller. I'm not really entirely happy with this one. I don't like the size, I don't like the texture, so I'm just gonna throw it away. I am gonna go for the original egg and I'm gonna use the already existing pattern and just put a really really thin layer of acrylic. But as you remember this egg is way too big for its holder which means I need to rethink that and I need to create a bigger holder. Uh, I'm gonna use the holder as it is and I'm gonna just add a lot of jewelries on the side making it look bigger like it's supposed to be around the egg and also i talked to my friend and he was like don't compromise with your art don't compromise with your skills or your talent or your standard make it your way and be proud of it and i just figured i'm the creator i'm the artist i can do whatever the i want so that's what i'm gonna do <sighs> So this is what it looks like right now. I wish I could say I was super happy and satisfied, but I don't like the curves. It's really, really hard to see here. These, uh, wrong shade, too white. Um, so I need to replace them in a shade of, it cannot be, I mean, we call it bone white in Swedish. I don't know how to say it in English. Yeah, I'm just gonna. And for that middle piece, I took a brochet, I destroyed it, as you can see here. I took some parts from an earring and I placed it here and I deconstructed something, probably a necklace, and I put it here. Which means I actually created this kind of U-formed centerpiece to be able to match with the shape of the actual egg. What? and super satisfied with everything and it just turned out so much better than I expected. I got so thrilled that I even called my friend who owns this amazing apartment in Gothenburg and he and his boyfriend they've like decorated the whole apartment like Bridgerton style 17th century 18th century. Anyway, it's amazing and it's beautiful and I got this idea of taking pictures there. So I reached out to one of my favorite photographers, Alex, and he said yes. So I'm gonna bring you guys with me to this amazing apartment and you're gonna be able to see a little bit of behind the scenes as well as the interior of this amazing apartment and then eventually the finished photos of me, my mask and my egg. Let's go. All right, so I'm outside their apartment right now and I'm gonna enter and I'm so excited <sighs> and a little nervous, but I think this is gonna be great. I've seen other people do this kind of vlog, so I'm just gonna try to, to do the same. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Here we go. Oh my lord. <gasps> oh, Harry. <laughs> oh, my god. All of this, like all the curtains, his partner. Sew it, maybe not by hand, but with a sewing machine. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I mean, what a work! Only the but yeah, the I guess the cover, the maybe? cover uh, of the bed, and and these ones. I mean, he made it all. So everything you see here is uh, made by him. I need to meet this Emil. I feel I have a, you know, I have a mom. Overman, <laughs> <Major> superior, <laughs> superior, <laughs> not overman. <laughs> overman. <laughs> <Get> cut. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Now you can see how tiny they're supposed to be. Like this is the actual size, I think. And well, it's a little difference. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Men den outfiten du har nu, mm. har du med mer grejer än det? Alltså du menar till eller ett annat ombyte? Mm, jag har ett annat ombyte. Nej. Det har du inte. Det är som en rosett eller? Det har också mycket vitt du kan bära. Look at this, this is so funny. Bounces. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we just finished the session inside there and we're about to head to the living room. And yeah, everything's going great. I'm so excited. that one yet I'm gonna use that one for a different video because I am gonna paint that one in oil and of course I'm gonna show you guys the process thank you so much for watching this first episode I am so happy it means the world to me and I want to say a big thanks to Alexander Alexander or to Thomas or Emil for their amazing apartment and I will see you guys in the next episode oh no 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 way I'm on the run, and if you want to catch up, you better subscribe. <laughs> That's so cheesy. Okay, guys, bye.